This video is going to cover markup, discount, and tax. Uh, in another video that we did, we talked about uh, markup, discount, and tax, where we would take the, we would find the markup, the discount, and the tax on an individual basis. Uh, in this video, we're actually combining um, all three. You know, either doing markup and discount, or markup and tax, or discount and tax. We're kind of combining the three of them, or two of them at the same time. Uh, which is a real-life uh, application to markup and tax or discounts. So let's get started with number one. So the cost of shoes is $29.95, the markup is 20%, and then the tax is 2%. So remember, markup and tax, we're actually adding um, both of them, whereas discount, we would subtract. So let's do the cost of shoes, which is $29.95, and the markup being 20%. So we're going to do 20% of twenty-nine ninety-five. And when we put that in our calculator, 0 0.20 times 29.95, we end up getting 599. So we're going to do 599 plus that 29.95 to give us our markup value. So plus 29.95, we end up getting 35.94. So this is the markup price. This is what we would sell to the customer. And then on top of that price, we're going to do a, on top of that price, we're going to multiply it by a tax percentage. So we're going to do the tax, which is 2% times that 34, 35.94. And we multiply those, 0 0.02 times 35.94. We end up getting 72 cents if we round. Then we're going to do 72 cents plus that markup price, which is 35 94 and when we do that we get a value of thirty six dollars and sixty six cents number two cost of a microscope is two hundred and sixty nine ninety five the markup is forty three percent and the tax is five percent so we're gonna do forty three percent of two hundred and sixty nine ninety five Calculator 0.43 times 269.95. We end up getting $116.08. So we're going to add that to the original price of the microscope. So we get 116.08 plus 269.95. And when we do that, we end up getting 386.03. And then we're going to tax that amount. So it's going to be 0.05 times 386.03. We multiply those, 0.05. When we do that, we get 19.30. So we're going to add that on top of the 386. So we do 19.30 plus $386.03. Adding those together, we get a total of $405.33. And that's our final answer for number two. Um, number three and four are the same concept, so I'm going to skip those just because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, let's jump down to number five, which now we're doing a markup and a discount. So I'm just going to do numbers five and six because seven and eight are the same as five and six. So cost of a shirt is $14.95, the markup is 25%. So we're going to do that, we're going to do 25%, excuse me, 25% of $14.95. So in our calculator, 0 0.25 times 14.95, we end up getting $3.74 if we round. So we're adding that $3.74 plus $14.95. And when we add those together, we get $18.69. So this is the price that we would sell to the customer. Now, let's say a customer comes in and says, hey, I have a, a coupon for 45% off. Well, it'd be 45% off this $18.69. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to find out what that 45% discount is. So we're going to do 0.45 times $18.69. Let me fix this. When we do that, so multiply that by 0.45, we end up getting 
So we're taking that 8.41 and subtracting it from 1869. So we're going to do 18.69 minus 8.41. And when we do that, we get 10, a total of $10.28. Sets. And that's the only difference is that we're doing the same process, but now instead of adding, we're subtracting uh, the discounted price. So, number six, cost of a CD is $23.50, the markup is 63%, and the discount is 50%. So, first we're going to find the markup value. So, we're going to do 0.63, 63%, times 2350. We'll do that in our calculator, 0 0.63 times 23.5. We end up getting 14.81. So we're going to add that to the original cost of the CD. So 14.81 plus 23.50. Add those together. We end up getting $38.31. And we're going to discount that amount. So we're going to do 50% of 38.31 and when we do that we end up getting $19.15 because it's 50% of a number it's just the final answer is just going to be half of the number we we find half of or you know the the amount that we multiplied uh, by 50% so our final answer is just going to be 1915